so I just got back from South Carolina yesterday and it was so much fun and it wasn't really super hot but it was warm enough and we had a great time and we actually did film a haul there but it was like the angle was really bad and I didn't realize until now so I just decided I would film it again here because we did a lot of shopping we went to Ulta actually a total of three times mostly because I was just looking for the NYX contour palette and I never found it but I did find some other stuff um, so yeah, we went to Ulta and we also went to another drugstore, which is like just like a local one So the products were a little older So I found some stuff that has been discontinued in our drugstores and I just thought I'd share some of that and just some regular stuff, too um, So yeah, and I also realized that yesterday I hit 300 subscribers, which was so exciting for me and I just want to say thank you and Yeah, we did a little bit of vlogging like I don't know just stupid stuff I don't know if I'm gonna put it up probably not I don't know so yeah and still figuring out how to work the camera like how to get the video to my phone so I can edit it but once I do have another awesome haul up um, but for now here's this one I'm gonna start with stuff from the local drugstore I found a lot of great Maybelline products and the first thing I found there was some master highlight and all this stuff was a lot cheaper than it normally was so I just decided to try some stuff this isn't exactly new but I have never tried this um, I haven't really heard anything about it too but I think it's a really pretty highlight or just I mean you can really use it as a bronzer but it has a really nice glow to it I don't know if you can see it the lighting's kind of going down but I liked it enough and I haven't tried it too much but I've tried a little bit and I've liked it so far I also picked up the Maybelline Master Glaze by Face Studio so this is like a cream stick and I really like this just on my cheeks in general not so much as a highlight um it's not a rosy shade well, it kind of is. I don't know. I feel like it has a little pink in there, so it looks really pretty if you just put a little bit on your cheeks and blend it out. And I got it in the color Nude Rebellion. So, yeah. Then I found, this was a discontinued, not discontinued, but it was just like a limited edition, uh, the color tattoo line. So, I'm not even going to go through the names, mostly because some of them don't even have the names on them. This is such a struggle because there's like four of them. But some of them are broken, but the ones that do have the names are matte brown and just beige and so basically a matte brown and a beige and then the two ones that don't have names are more exciting this one's a very like goldeny I don't know how to describe it just very pretty bronze color it has more like orange undertones and this one's also bronze but it has taupey undertones you could probably find these on eBay and stuff like that but you won't find them in drugstores at least I don't think you will um, next thing I got was from L'Oreal, and this is one of their lines they came out with of lipsticks. It's Collective Privy by, God knows how to pronounce that, it's in number 600 though, and that is the name. I have no idea how to say that. Don't Tuzans nude? I sound ridiculous. Um, but this is what it looks like, and it's a very pretty nude. It's a little darker than I'm used to, but I think it's really nice. I wouldn't say mauve -y. it's more brownish, orangey, but I really, really love it. And it is just so smooth and buttery. I love these lipsticks from L'Oreal. I actually got one last time I went to that store. And then lastly, from the discounted drugstore, I found a bunch of the Revlon Just Fit and Kiss Balls, and these are still in drugstores, I think. I I don't want anyone like to go in awkward moment when they're not there, but they're in my drugstore here. Um, but I got four colors, and I'll swatch these off camera for you in a second. But I got number 30, Smitten Epris, which is like a burgundy. 15, Cherished Devotion, which is a pink. Number 50, Precious, which is a nude. And number 10, Darling Sherry, which is just in the order I just read them to you. So this is the burgundy one, the pink one, the nude one, which has incredible pigment. Like, I'm surprised that even showed up. And the purplish one, which is actually my favorite. So I went to Ulta, and I found the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I've never been too interested in, like, the first one that came out. When this one came out, I was like, hmm, I kind of want to try that. It smells amazing. I just had to do that. But I'm in love with the colors. I think they're really, really gorgeous has a very nice range of mattes and shimmers just like the first one. I particularly love the white up top here because I love putting that all over the black or it's, I 
can't decide if it's a black or a navy dark blue. I think it is black. Um, those are great. I love that one for lining. And then all the brands and just honestly the rest of them are gorgeous. Bon Bon is definitely a favorite. And so yeah, I, I will probably do a look with this because that'd be a really good video because I haven't done like a makeup look on this channel in such a long time. It's really sad. So maybe I'll do that. Although I'm sure there's like a billion other looks you can find on here. And then I got a bunch of stuff from NYX because like they have this whole new spring line out or just a new line. I don't know if it's necessarily their spring line, but they have the NYX HD finishing powder, which I believe is new. And it just looks like this and it may look white on camera, but it actually has like a mint tint. It's in mint green and this powder is supposed to take away redness. So that's what that looks like. It's actually a pretty fine powder, like for drugstore. I was really surprised like how smooth it was, so that's why I got it. And I get red on my cheeks, especially like right here. And so I thought this might help with that. So I picked that up. Also for NYX, I found one of their foil shadows, I think they're called, and this one's in liquid gold. Sorry if I'm wrong. And that's what it looks like. It's these are so pretty and smooth. They honestly feel like cream shadows, although they're not. At least I don't think they are. And they're so insanely pigmented. Wow. That was the first time I swatched them. That's the second time. Like, there's just so much pigment in these. It's great. Like, this is going to look so pretty on the lid. And I got a lip product from them. One of their high voltage lipsticks. All the colors were super pretty. Some of them were a little too bright for me. So I found this one which is in the color, okay, I can't find the color, oh wait, Merge, some of these names, honestly, they get me every time, um, but it's just a really nice nude, and I was surprised how pigmented it was for a nude, because sometimes they just kind of wash, you know, your lips, and it's just like slightly tinted, but this was really pigmented, I don't know where to swatch this, sorry, here, I'll swatch it right here, that is it. It's a really nice nude. Um, I think this would look good on a lot of different skin tones. Maybe not up your fair because it's a little bit darker, but you could definitely blend it out and I really love how creamy this is. So I would definitely recommend picking one of these up. And then they came out with a ton of new brow products. So I picked two of their brow products up. First, the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, which I'm a really big fan of. I haven't tried like Benefit or the Anastasia one, but I'm sure it works just as well. I'm literally in love with this. I'm not wearing it today. I'm not wearing like any makeup today, but I've been using this for the past week and I'm absolutely in love with this. And then the next brow thing I got from them was their Myco Micro, sorry, brow pencil. And what I really love about this is just how like fine the tip is so you can really like get draw hairs on. This is the pencil and I will swatch this for you. It might be a little light for my eyebrows, but this was like the darkest one for me there and I really wanted to try it and I like it. Especially just if you're like outlining and then I go in and fill it in with this baby. And I really love them together. And they also have like a brow gel or something, like a dip pomade and something else. So I'm sure all their brow products are awesome, but these are just the two I've tried. And then I have two more products I got from Ulta, and these were the brushes, these are Real Techniques, they're like prestige lines, so they're actually cost as much as Sigma brushes, ranging from like $20 to $25 a piece, which is so expensive, and it was so like, why are these brushes so expensive? But honestly, I think they're worth it. I've only tried one of them, even though I have two, and I'm going to try this one tomorrow. But the first one I got was their powder one, which looks like this, it's a dome powder brush. It's so soft and I really really love this. I feel like you could also use this for blush if you just got the tip of blush because it's just has such a clip and that's why the lighting and my location is just a little bit different but I just wanted to say that this brush is for contouring and it would be really great for your temples or just even bronzer because I don't contour very often because I'm not very good at it but I think this would be a good brush for that or just bronzer which is fine. So yeah, I know that in the next clip I'm talking about Marshalls because Marshalls was the last place I went. So I found this e.l.f. blush palette and this is the one in light. And this is what it looks like. I have only tried this color. I really liked it. They're a little bit chalky because chalky, they are from e.l.f. But overall I think they're great blushes. They are from the studio line. Um, 
and they're pretty pigmented. That was not a very good example because I barely touched it, but this one's sparkly, but the rest of them are matte. Um, and they pop out, which is cool. I would do that, but I feel like that's a little dangerous at the moment, like it's just gonna fall. I'm gonna try. This is what I was talking about. I got a makeup container for only $12 at Marshalls, which also has drawers underneath. Um, and this part actually comes up so you can use it as two separate pieces or just keep it as it is as a whole, which is what I did. So it has a total of, let's see, 12 lipstick holders. And I keep sample brushes behind there. And I would keep my brow part. Oh, I thought it was important to mention that the NYX brow thing also has a spoolie on the other side, which is really helpful. Um, but I keep brow products and stuff up there, some brushes, and then it has the three drawers, which is really nice. So I just keep generally new products and stuff that I kind of want to haul in here. Just stuff that I'm currently using or use a lot. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you guys that. We had a great time, and we didn't just go shopping. We did a ton of swimming and went on a couple bike rides and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I can figure out how to work my camera and do some other videos, like a look with the chocolate bar palette, because I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a great day and great week. And be sure to like this video and subscribe. Bye!